Good evening. One million dollars. That's how much money the feds were going to give the city of Albuquerque to help clear the rape kit backlog. But the city still has not received a dime, and one city councilor says they're not going to. News 13's Stephanie Chavez is live this evening at City Hall with details. Stephanie? Justine, the feds are apparently pulling that funding because of the city's immigrant friendly policy, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Now, at the end of last year, the city was promised $1 million to finish testing rape kits, but City Councilor Pat Davis says the DOJ is now refusing to send the money because Albuquerque is a sanctuary city, a policy that bans the use of city resources to enforce immigration law. That just doesn't make sense that they were totally willing to help us. Until we said we don't support their political agenda. On top of that, Davis says nearly $10 million in federal funding to help fight violent crime is also up in the air. Davis says they're currently applying for that money, but the city fully expects the feds to deny their application. Regardless, Councillor Davis says the city will not be changing its immigration policy. Now, Davis says if they do get denied on that application, that the city is prepared to sue the DOJ. Back to you. All right, Stephanie, thank you. Davis says the application is due in April. They do not know when they'll find out if they have been rejected.